Hey everybody, Chris here, you join Off Road North Carolina. A few months ago I purchased this used U-Haul. <clears throat> it's a 2005 E450 V10. It was local to us, uh, popped up on Marketplace. Um, they said the rear axle was bad and it couldn't be driven. We decided it was worth a look. We took some tools out, Steven and I went and checked it out and realized that it may have been slightly misdiagnosed. So we bought it and drove it to the shop. Today, it is getting front suspension with a four-wheel drive conversion. I'm super excited about this. I couldn't find anybody that had ever converted one of these U-Hauls to four-wheel drive, so this might be a first, which is always cool. So, watch as we convert this U-Haul to four-wheel drive. So I did forget to mention that this rig is for sale, so I'll be posting a price on it soon. And uh, by the time the video is posted, I'll have a price and some picks up online. We've already drilled the front spring hangers, and uh, the guy's gonna rip the front end out now, and then get prepped to start cutting. All right, moving along. The spring hangers have already been drilled and powder coated. Got the front section of the frame cleaned, primed, and now Hunter is laying down some black paint so the hangers can go on and then we'll start cutting. the moment we've all been waiting for. This pallet jack stuck on a zip tie. So this is our stage three front axle. Pulling no punches on this build, so it's stage three spec, 456 gears, Detroit True Track with Dynatrack knuckles, hubs, spindles, everything from the knuckles out it's from our boys at Dynatrack. And look at that, went right in over there. Line up this driver's side, get the U-bolts and U-bolt plates attached, and this thing has its forever Dana 60. All right, axles in, shocks, brake lines, guys are working on those, got the drag link in. About time to bleed it, get wheels and tires. Got the front bumper bolted up, brakes are bled. Now we're gonna pick it up, put wheels and tires on it, then we're gonna move it outside. So when I bought this rig, I think I mentioned earlier, the rear axle was bad. So what we're gonna do because of time and space is we're gonna put it outside, get the rear end jacked up. Uh, we're gonna pull the rear end out completely. We've got another one. We're gonna basically turn two rear ends into one and then replace the rear springs and get, this, get a T-case in it and finish the build. All right, well here we are, day two rig is outside. We're gonna have a few days to uh, get this axle situation sorted. So we figured we put it outside to not take up valuable shop space. We've got another RV to build tomorrow. But here are the Nitto tires on the Pro Comp wheels that we sandblasted and powder coated white. We're running the same wheel and tire setup that we do on all of our, our, our RVs here. And uh, spring rates were a little tricky on this thing. We went with a heavier spring in the front because we really don't know what the end use is gonna be. I don't know if this is gonna sell to somebody making it into a camper or possibly a contractor uh, to be used as a work truck, a delivery truck, we just don't know. So I took the best guess I could and we can always compensate up or down later. We did install our prototype FB005 front bumper with the worn winch, spa design lights, and we're gonna do an S-Pod as well to control the lights. We've got a front receiver and uh, yeah, we're gonna finish up that wiring, but right now, Getting the stock rear axle out so we can fix that. I'll replace it, I should say. And then we're gonna put a T-case in it, get the new drive shaft ordered for the back, and then put it together, get it back in next week for exhaust, S-Pod, and have this thing running soon. All right, so we've got the rear springs and rear axle out, got the frame cleaned up. 
new springs are ready to install now and the rear axle is being finished up. So the new Dana 70 HD is in final assembly. It's actually tougher than I thought to find a replacement axle for this rig. I think I mentioned earlier the passenger side spindle was chewed up from a bad bearing job. So we found another axle, but it was missing a hub and an axle shaft. So between the two, we were able to make one. So this is the new housing. We swapped over the 456 gears, all new bearings, all new seals, all new brakes. And this is gonna go under the rig today. Also have the rear tires staged. I'm gonna get those mounted up today and see what this thing looks like on all six. All right, refreshed axle is installed. Now we can measure for a drive shaft. I'm gonna go ahead and get, ahead and get wheels and tires on it. Then we'll do brake lines and all that stuff when we have time while we're waiting for the drive shaft. All right, well this is a big moment. Rear axle's in, rear wheels and tires are installed. And I've got the drive shaft ordered. So now we're just gonna wait for some time to finish up a few things. Guys, still have to build the exhaust, still have to do the S-Pod, wire the front bumper, got these sway bars front and rear, shocks in the back, uh, brake lines, bleed it, all that fun stuff. So yeah, big milestone. This thing is awesome. It looks so good now that the rear is lifted. All right, well here we are, complete. So since the last clip, we did all the stuff I mentioned. Uh, bleeding the brakes, track bar, alignment, finished all the wiring on the bumper, got the S-Pod in, everything is looking good. Uh, got the flares installed, side steps. We had to, so this was, the wheelbase is a little too long on this setup to run a one-piece drive shaft, so we actually wound up fabricating a carrier drop cross member so we can run a two-piece drive shaft. Let's see if we can get a good view of that right there. So we made that cross member, got a two-piece drive shaft in it, Got the exhaust finished, and this thing is basically roadworthy. Just got it back from the detail shop this morning. So I am going to make my for sale video now. This build video I'll leave up, uh, but the for sale video will be separate, and I'll probably pull it down as soon as this unit sells. So thanks for watching. I'll try to do more of these build videos when I have time. And if you got any questions or comments, leave them below. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook if you don't already. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.